Hi, it's Bernie Goldbach on the 6th of November, 2011, in my back garden, looking at the Sunday Times, Sunday Business Post, through my Xperia Arc, Sony Ericsson phone, some news worth sharing. You can see a lot of this stuff over at InsideView.ie, or listen to me on Audioboo.fm. On Twitter, I'm on Twitter, I'm talk called Big Accident, Horror on the Motorway, it says. Real good coverage on BBC, and on Audioboo, actually, the sound of people who cross that center median there carrying kids from cars that were later catching on fire. Tremendous accidents. In fact, it's worst, the worst motorway crash in 18 years in Great Britain. Amazing. Amazing story. Mark Tai is another amazing story. Civil service is scared of judging staff, he says. Really easy in the civil service to um, get that number three, meaning you're going to be promoted, or number two. Get a salary income of 3000 a year. And in case you don't read between the lines here, what that front page story is saying is civil servants continue to get salary increments. Or semi-state people do. Not hard to find. Sounds like it's something from Mark Ty or Frank Fitzgibbon if you're listening to this. Just have a look at what's happening in Irish Rail. Increments continue. Up to, eight, up to 2,000 teachers are going to face the act, acts, though. 2.2 billion euro cuts ahead. Stephen O'Brien has a front page story in the Sunday Times pointing out the government is planning to slice 2,000 uh, teachers from the primary and secondary school teacher um, rosters. And then there's other cuts in capital spending. Metro Dart, Dart Underground are going to be torched as well. They won't go ahead for at least three years. Those construction budgets. Hmm. And inside the paper, loitering with intense, finally, full page coverage of this. Uh, that's Occupy Dame Street. Uh, on Flickr.com, photo stroke Irish guys, I got some pictures of it as well. Justine McCarthy does the story. People are making a stand, not only in Dame Street, but in places like Cork, Waterford, Galway, Belfast, and camps are around the world. People just want to, they want some action. They don't have any solutions, but it is a, a big citizen movement. Hoteliers are hitting back at, tra at, at TripAdvisor. Can you imagine a place where you can make a comment? A comment on a bad meal or a bad hotel Rrr, upset the hoteliers. Can you imagine if you're a prominent blogger and you do the same thing? The power of 140 characters on Twitter could bring down an entire booking for a hotel as well, couldn't it? Alice the Trojan horse to save the rest of Europe, says the editorial pages of the Sunday Times. The big deal is this. Reality says, brutal reality says, that the basic euro has to change form. So says the editorial staff. If you live in where I am, you might spot tractors on the road. You probably won't spot Shane or Sean O'Brien driving his tractor. He took a professional rugby uh, contract and immediately bought a tractor. Look at his arms. His mom says he got that strength by delivering calves as a young boy. That would do it, wouldn't it? Inside, a full page article in the Sunday Times. Uh, by Christine the Lamb from Washington, pointing out that Geronimo, that key term for bin Laden and his death, is uh, a subject of a book called Seal Target Geronimo, to be published in the U.S. this week. These are some of the tactics that I would have used in my days flying these guys to their destination. Interesting read. I'm going to read it. But also listen to this story, front page story of the Sunday Business Post between uh, pictures of Brian Cowan, Mary Hannafin, the RT documentary tomorrow night shows the real story behind the infamous bank guarantee of 2008. I remember that bank guarantee. I said the same thing to Ruth in the car that, geez, there might not be any money left. The ATMs, we don't get Europe to give the money. They needed some instant action. A lot of the ministers felt they were bullied into action, and that'll be part of the story. It actually might trickle on over to the new business post on online. Um, interesting stuff going on there. Redesigned... Um, paper when you're viewing it on an android phone or an iphone or an ipad um inside the paper i'll deal with it more but welcome adrian weckler to the ipad nation and uh, the way they're doing it though they're using html5 and this is a bit of a this is a bit of a misstatement download the app download the app to your mobile device no you're just basically putting it a widget on your home screen and I would say even though he doesn't say it in the article if you want live content for a specific content area of the business post dot IE you might get it better on a on a um, 
Nokia Lumia 800 because you can actually pin the exact section that you want to see of the business post in a tile on the home screen. Not just have the stupid app that you can't find, that you tap on when you get there, then it scroll to see what it is. So consider that. Good service, but probably more elegant than some other devices. And good move, HTML5, not app. That's Patty Cosgrave in another story. Gavin Daly wrote about it, caught up with him, and he said, look, the money was there. Patty did the thing called the Dublin Web Summit. He's done it several years. He's doing it well. He's getting founders, promoters, uh, first-time movers, high-potential people to show up. And the networking is pretty awesome. I didn't make it to this year's Dublin Web Summit because of commitments in other parts of the world. A cork-based entrepreneur named Sean O'Sullivan is listed also in a story by Gavin. He gave $5 million to the Khan Academy. Cool. Nice move. Good service, 26,000 subjects that you can study there in the Khan Academy. Um, good ideas, really good ideas. McWilliams continues his good ideas about economic chaos, basically saying Europe, with all the debt, cannot work. He can't go to work, actually. He can't shunt the debt of some people to others indefinitely. Right, he's got a good point there, a really good point on how we have to try to move forward with something other than just stupid bank guarantees. Move forward with innovation like this. So I'm curious, will the Sunday Business Post app, or not app, will the Sunday Business Post push part of their content towards the Kindle, the king of um, e-books, e-readers. Um, I really like my Kindle, and i got stories about stories that I'm reading in it, like I'm following annotations in it. Um, said another way, Adrian, if you're listening, stuff in the Kindle can be annotated and shared inside the Kindle ec ec ecosystem. It can be shared in bed, too. This is a pretty good story. How to date an entrepreneur. It's in a Sunday Times style magazine. Uh, manage expectation in the bedroom. Forget about luxury lifestyle. Hey, the rest of these things, you can just read the bio of Steve Jobs, the, the authorized edition, the exclusive of biography. <laughs> it's just Jobs, the entrepreneur, and what he put his uh, girlfriends and wife through. And finally, Shortage. This is a story in the Sunday Times magazine about the buzz people are feeling around Shortage. People here feel that they can change things. Rapidly evolving technology scene in London. Well, so I went to Shoreditch, and I'll tell you, the conversation around the pubs, the toughest bars are really, really good. Out front of my house. I have my digs underway to put some trace heating in place, and uh, that's important. You can follow me at www.insideview.ie about whether it's what's going to happen there, or catch up with the photos as my DIY projects continues on Flickr.com, stroke photos, stroke Irish eyes. It's Bernie Goldbach, top quote on Twitter, saying thanks for listening, and bye for now.